All right, then. Welcome back to our, next, our last story. You know, as the countdown to the 2023 general ele election hots up, the police high command is set to review pathways in order to ensure a smooth electoral process. Now, at a meeting with Deputy Inspectors General, DIGs, Assistant Inspectors General, AIGs, and Commissioners of Police, and the FCT Command uh, also, uh, the Inspector General of Police, Usman Al-Khali Baba, while admitting that the elections would put them to test, that's put his men to test, he charged them to upscale their deployment to uh, dominate the public space, you know, to ensure that cultural elements do not take advantage of the situation. Of particular note is the banning of all quasi-security outfits in the various states like the Amotekun in the southwest and the Eastern Security Network, ESN, in the southeast. Balaji, what comes to your mind now? Well, <clears throat> and, and please speak like a journalist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You see, let me tell you something. What, we are, what uh, the IGP has said is nothing new. Most IGPs during election period will always charge their men about what they are supposed to do. Because the role the police, the security organizations play during election is a very crucial one. The, the police, the army, you know. And uh, the fact that he said Abuteko and the other quasi uh, security organizations should not yeah. be part of I think it's, it's, it's a step in the right direction, actually. Because there ought to be this fear, and that's why we never had state police, that governors who probably want to use these people to, 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 to achieve their At purpose. a time like this. Yeah, at a time like yeah. this. At, yes. So I think what he, what he actually said is, is the right thing. Well, we should also tell the police that they should also do the right thing during the election. Because when elections are, before you, when elections are done, are conducted, the success of any election is also hinged, apart from what Eric does, on the, on the security organizations too. Yeah. So they should also be up and doing during the election period. Doctor, you think uh, the... Uh, IG is thinking something else. Well, it's um, because the groundswell of opinion, you know, in the public space is the IG is uh, up to something. Ah oh, well, I think it's normal. The the issue we have to keep hammering on now is for the police to work perfectly in synergy with other security agencies. They did well in Oshun and on those states during the governorship elections. But those are Ekiti. off Ekiti too. St Staggered elections. Ekiti and Oshun. Mm -hmm. Those are off season elections yeah. where you can I mean mobilize a huge number of the, policemen. The, the concentration yes, is it's just one. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. we are going to have an issue. It's it's a general election. And as we know, the involvement of the, of the military in civil issues is an aberration. So it still falls largely on the police to do what it has to do in a perfect manner. No election is perfect, but ensure that your men are not working for any party. Yeah. They are not fed by any party. They are not given accommodation transportation, all the logistics by any party. <laughs> That's where to start from. Mm. Because once your men arrive and somebody takes them to a comfortable... Of course, with the, 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 the IG state. cited relevant sections of the yes. Electoral Act and mm. so on. All, like we said yeah. during the last debate, all of these laws, they pale into nothing if your conscience doesn't work. They are nothing. A man wants to go somewhere to go and make money, and you are citing law, Hmm. Once his conscience does not tell him, oh, the, the morality of it doesn't say to him that this is what I'm supposed to do for the good of everyone, not for my own good only, there's going to be a problem. Bolaji, are you able to reconcile the development in Katsina into all of this? Um, well, but, but you know what I mean. I understand what you mean. <laughs> the, the, course, the security outfit that mm. is the, the carry arms, is it it? Yeah, you see, it's rather, uh, I, I, I don't know what, what, what's, what's really at the back of the mind of the people that actually give that permission to the security outfit in Castina to carry arms, while refusing 
the same thing for the, uh, the people down here in the south, you know, and which is what... Uh, no, 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 you, you are talking uh -uh. not south thing. You mean Amoteku and ESN? <laughs> yes, uh -huh. yeah, you see, uh, exactly. Say that it, it, okay, it's I be okay specific. with me. <laughs> yes, Amoteku and yes, <laughs> because, <laughs> because if you are telling those people there to carry arms, why not allow AS, ASN and uh, Amoteku to also carry arms? But if you are saying they shouldn't carry, then it should be applicable to everybody. So why yeah. do we have to do that? Do that over there? I don't allow them to do the same thing over uh, here. Uh, and and that in, is... in a country, country where you have uh, too, far too many conspiracy theories than <laughs> people who theorize. E exactly. That's yeah. Yeah, exactly. So people, there's a tendency for people to start really demeaning to what you have done over there. They're okay. They are getting prepared for the election. Mm. That's why they're harming those people over there. You know. So it is it, it's rather unfortunate that uh, we, we seem to have two different laws mm. in this country. Because of what it, it is. Uh, if uh, the south, southern states are applying for something, and it's the same thing that the northern, are, the northern states are also applying for, and at the end of the day, the southerners were refused the same thing that the northerners were given. What was that? Are you a southerner? <laughs> I, 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 thought were, well, I thought you were well, in Nigeria. Really, like, I've, I've not seen like any. <laughs> I've not seen any formal thing back in what we, we, we must go. Yes, is happening, mm. But then to our politicians, I'll also, I'll say that we should not forget that we are where we are in terms of terrorism, um, militancy, militancy, because insurgency. we armed some people before the elections mm -hmm. in the past. Yeah. We shouldn't go the same route. Yeah. Okay, so we must go, but let me thank you, Bolaji Tunji, for coming. Thank you. And uh, Dotun, many thanks. Thank you, sir.